just starting up. And I see a hawk on Bruckner Hall. It's a juvenile. Get things started. I think I hear a, I do hear another young one uh, vocalizing now. I uh, don't know where it is. And we'll go looking for the one in front of Ferno soon enough. Or at least there seemed to be one in front of Ferno. Uh, that's what it sounded like. Hold on, I gotta change something here. That's better. Again, on Bruckner Hall. Uh, it's breezy this evening, so, um, you know. So, I, maybe I heard this one. It sounded like maybe it was in front of you know, in one of the trees in front of uh, of Ferno Hall, but I could be wrong, and you know, it could be just mistaken. And again, we still have this one. Oh, who's walking? Well, it took a step on Bruckner. Let's go back up to this one here on the coop. Coop Ferris. It is a little warm, so I mean, you see them um, panting just a bit, just to cool down. It's not really a hot day, it's, but it's, it is warmer than it has been last, let's say, well, the weekend was cool. And um, I would say it's uh, maybe a little warmer than it was yesterday, although I was not here on the campus yesterday. Lightening up just a bit. Here is a third one in one of the pines in front of Ferno Hall. Let me darken it just a bit. So we've seen three of the three of the juveniles, and let me continue to look around. Who knows? Well, I don't see right off the bat. I don't see anybody else from here. But you see the third one up there, correct? Near the top of the tall pine? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where are the parents? Yeah. I haven't seen one yet, but I just, I just arrived a few minutes ago.
Bruckner has been calling a little bit. I, I really haven't walked around. I mean, I've just been uh, here. I left when I, as I drove in, I saw this one. And, uh, you know, and then as I was setting up, I heard, uh, I don't know if it was this one or the one up in the pine tree. Where are you? Look this way, would you? Please. I suspect the one is one up in the pine tree is the one I heard uh, earlier. Oh, oops. Just heard a chickadee. What you looking at? So we've seen four. Oh, uh, the one who was on the coop took off. I missed it. I'm sorry. The one who was on the coop is now here. Took off towards this pole, which is closer to um, uh, the wooded area. I was looking at, you know, dealing with the switch to the switch to, uh, you know, from Big Red up there when that flight took place. Behind me there's a squirrel on the ground. <laughs> Just looked up, and I don't know where it is now. Just flew right by me, but it did not go as far as the ground. It it it, it arced. You know what? The squirrel was near the. Um, if if you're familiar. Hold on. Now, t well, there two of them are on Bruckner now. The one that we just. We were just watching, has landed there, and this one. Sorry, I couldn't stay with it the whole time. Let me still where she was. That's better. And the electrician is still on the pole. So all four chicks are, are here in view. Yeah. You know what, there's one on the pole, yeah. okay. And their mother is up there.
Oh, their father's up there too. So we've seen everybody. Their father's up there too. He's on the throne. Let's see if we can take a look at him. Hi, Arthur. Good to see you. Sorry, it's tough. Uh, he's backlit, so, you know, not easy. And Big Red is where we last saw her. Where is she? Oh, no, she moved. She's up here. So I'm hearing it, one of the juvies call. And oh, Arthur's in the air. I can. I, well, I can't look at, I can't see anybody right now, any, any of the juveniles. I'm going to move. Oh, he took off. I just saw him. And, oh, uh, the there's a turkey that maybe that same turkey vulture is up above us now. And I'm going to let it go. And oh, Arthur, uh, where is he? He's here. He's in the air. There he is. Too greedy. He's still in, he's still on flight. Gotta move. Come on, where is he? He's still circling a little bit. I'm having a hard time finding him. There he is. Stay with him when he's up directly over me with adjustments. Okay, I've got... So while you're looking there, I'm going to kind of sort of look around. Gotta check on a couple things too.
What you doing there? Should I move? I have a feeling this one is going to head elsewhere in a moment. Not seeing anything. And I can kind of, through some tree branches, see. Yes, I can still see one of them on, on Bruckner Hall where it's been the entire evening. And I can see Big Red. She's where she had been. We're, we'll, we should look up at her in a moment. Um, maybe the lighting here or from, or from this angle is a little better. Now, that's not fair. What a privilege it is to be able to see them. To see them and to share them with people who <laughs> want to see them as well. Oh, I see Arthur. He's now up on Bradfield. One second. Let's take a quick look at him. Hello, good sir. Oh, and somebody... Somebody just flew to the fence that's... Um, Hold on. This fence that's uh, to the side of Oof. a Ferno Hall. My goodness. Um, hold on one sec. still have one on the utility pole. I'm guessing this is one of the of the two who had been there on the utility pole. No, look the other way. And I believe the one on Bruckner is calling. And we still have one on the utility pole. I don't know if I could show it to you or not. But I like this view right now. And I believe I'm hearing chimney swifts. Arthur's still where he was. Big Red is still where she was. Hello. Just here.
and I, I really can't see the other hawks right now. <clears throat> Careful. Uh, did I hear somebody else? Maybe not. Big Red still has that posture that makes me, makes her look as if she's about to take off, but. Kind of settled in and comfortable there, I would say. Again, just looked at the ground to see if there's a squirrel or something here. I didn't see anything. I'll leave the camera pointed up. I want to look around. And I can't see the one who flew to Rice Hall. Not from here. I think this one's about to take off. Maybe wrong.
sorry, I was looking around to see what it might be looking at. It's not for you. See how it holds on in the breezy conditions. And at least from here, looking back at Rice Hall, I cannot see anybody. Not from here. And taking a look at what, at the other athletic lighting towers, uh, I can see. I don't see anybody. Uh, I believe, oh, somebody's in the air. Somebody just landed on, no, didn't land on Wild Hall. Got trees in my way. We'll see if it comes back into view. Oh, back into view. I believe this is Big Red, but I'm not sure. And she seems to be coming this way. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna lose track of her. I can't see through trees. ...of her when she uh, flew behind the trees, but there she is, right back up on Bradfield Hall. Really, where she's been much of the evening.
Oh, we have somebody in the air. In the distance. See the smoke sacks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming? No, going. going. Oh. Is that us? Pardon me? Is that us coming? It's, it's one of the hawks and... Well, now to the right of the right one. Well, eventually, uh, maybe not to the nest, but. Oh, look at the I've got to adjust my tripod, everybody. I can't do this this way. I'm sorry. Still between the two smokestacks. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Sure. Do you still see it? Yeah. It's, it's most likely Arthur, I believe yeah. it is. It's like an adult. Oh, it's definitely an adult. Oh, well then it's Arthur. Oh, that's big right up there. Well, I mean, it, it, there's always a chance it's uh, yes, from uh, you know, from a neighboring territory, but it's it's most likely Arthur. No, that's Arthur. It comes to I think he's coming closer. Maybe I'm wrong. I lost him. Over to the right more. See where I'm pointing? I'm on the screen right now, you might want to look. Oh. I knew I heard it from over there. So. Oops. I didn't touch it. No, it's my turn. Talking to each other. No, they're not. No. <laughs> they're hoping for food. So again, this is the one on rice, everybody. And we're gonna we're gonna continue to walk. We're gonna continue to walk in a moment to see if we can if there's still one behind Bruckner Hall.
but I don't believe there's one back there just because of how quiet it is. Big Red is still where she had been and our hawk on rice is still on rice. Uh, in light and slightly better light. So let's see if we can see it before it takes off. Someone's in flight. So someone, probably the one who was on the nest tower, uh, just flew over, it sounded like, to Ferno Hall. <gasps> the one who was on rice is still on rice. And... Um, Somebody flew over, but I didn't see. I didn't see what happened, and uh, really don't know where it is. Anyway, this one has been content to stay there on the fence for a while. And Rice Hall is still on Rice Hall. You know. I'm not sure if Arthur is still where he had been. That's, at least from here, I'm not seeing him. might be there, but I am beginning to doubt it. I would say this year's clutch has been especially difficult uh, to differentiate one from another. It's usually not easy, but this year seems it, you know, much more difficult. Maybe I'm right. Right above him, in the top. The other one. Same tree. Very top, right one. Uh, you may be right. Yep, you are right. So we do have all four. Yes. So hold on one second. My welcoming party. So, so we have, everybody, we have, we have the fence, we have pine tree, we have another pine tree, and we have rice hall. And right now, Big Red is still where she had been, up on Bradfield Hall. We've seen everybody multiple times tonight.
other one out. We can only see one now. And we'll check we'll check on the ones in the pine tree. One moment. We have one here. In this tree, we've got two together or very near each other in this tree. And I was thinking maybe we had, oh, wait a minute. And then, hold on, get your bearings. So two there. And do we have a third in this tree or not? Oh, the one, well, we definitely have three up there now. But did I see a fourth? Yes, we have four in that one tree. We have all four in this tree now, tonight. All four are in that tree. And I still wouldn't mind knowing where Arthur is. I suspect he's in the area. Oh, how lovely. Big Red is still where she was, but she, she's going to move on soon. She told me. I don't know who's who, but I'm wishing you all, all of you L's, good night. We're going to walk around and go see if we can look at Bradfield in, in a moment. As soon as, if Big Red leaves that top perch, we're gonna, that's when we're going to move along. This one's a smart one, staying at a lower level. Although, much more difficult for us to see. I'm going to leave it right there for the moment. Yes, that's a great blue heron. And Big Red looks like she's about to leave, and she just did. I see Arthur, and I don't see Big Red. Oh my god. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to lighten it up, everybody. I don't know where Big Red might be. 
but judging by the, the robin vocalizations I'm hearing, I'm suspecting, I suspect she's still nearby. She did, we saw her on Bradfield, she launched from there, and I suspect maybe she's in a nearby tree or something. And I'm going to have to brighten it up, everybody, so hold on. So they're on opposite. Which, I, I just find it unusual, but stranger things have happened. Why, because they usually are together? Not necessarily, but um, just these perches on this side are not as well favored as the ones on the other side. I feel bad. We didn't say goodnight to Arthur. So anyway, we're on the western side now of Bradfield Hall, or that's where the perch is. And we're about to say goodnight to Big Red. Good night, Big Red. I don't know if she's going to stay there tonight or not. I suspect she will. Let's leave her alone. And we'll go say goodnight to Arthur, and then I think I'm going to close up. Say goodnight to Arthur. Everybody, I'm going to say good night to all of you. It's been a good evening. I'm glad that you all joined me. But it's dark. It's time for me to get going, pack up, and head home. And it's time we stop bothering the hawks, or at least stop giving them something to look at. So, everyone, until next time, I want to wish you all very well. And we will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.